this video, we are going to continue with indices. You will find this on page 3 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at simple exponential equations. Solve each of the following equations. Now, this is also coming from ordinary level. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, let's start. So basically, it's I'm not going to make use of logs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into prime factors. Make, make the basis of the indices the same, then equate them. So basically, I get 3 to the power of 5. Can you remember? That is basically just 2, 4, 3, and then you start divide by 3, divide by 3, and so on. Okay. And then, as soon as the bases are the same, you can say P is equal to 5. If you look at this one, because this base is 6, I make this base also by 6 by saying 6 to the power of 0 will be equal to 1. So then this will be equal to 0. Then I just take this over, and then if as soon as I take the square root, it will be plus minus. And then this one, this one is actually interesting. Uh, again, uh, because I see 2, now... It's going to help me to say 2 times 2 that I get 4. Okay, the reason why I want to work with 12, but there's another method I'll show you now. So, now it also works that if the index numbers are the same, you can do the operation. So, you can say 4 times 3 and you can keep the y. So, instead of keeping the base, you keep the y and you multiply the 4 and the 3. This I bring up and it's negative 2. And now I have 12, 12, the bases are the same. And I can say y is equal to negative 2. And our other method, let's look at another method. Um, I'm breaking this up also into prime factors. And I'm getting this. And now I'm just doing, I say this is equal to this. Did you see? And this is equal to this. And then I actually uh, form 2, and I will get both that y is equal to negative 2. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I think I'm going to give you all three, because there's not so many examples. Um, I'm moving quite fast on. Um, I know. I think I'm going to give you only number A and number C. Uh, the, the other one, you can check the answer at the back of the book. Okay, it's not difficult. You're just going to say 7 to the power of 0. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. So let's start with number A. Okay, so if I'm having, this is going to be a very easy one. So it's 2, I, I could have gave the next 2. 2A, two but let's start easy. And then what is 16? Can you remember? So if you take 16... 2 can go in 8, 2 can go in 4, 2 can go in 2, 2 can go in 1. So it's 2 to the power of 4. So I'm going to say 2 to the power A equals 2 to the power 4. So therefore, A is equal to 4. Very easy. You can go back to ordinary level if you struggle with this. Okay, the next one. Um, now, this, this one I'm going to do on this method. Okay, so this one, I'm going to, I'm first going to simplify, I'm trying to get the 75. So if I say 5 times 5, that's going to be 25x times 3x. Now, I, I'm already bringing the 75 up, do you see? Now, again, these, the index are the same, so I keep the index, I keep it, and I, and I multiply the basis. So 25 times 3, that will be 75. So therefore, x is equal to negative 1. And that will be the answer. Otherwise, you can break this up into prime factors and then do it like we did in example 2. 